Hello viewers, if you want to tap 12 volt power in your fuse box, a proper installation will require a fuse tap. In this video I'll show you how a fuse tap work and how to install one. Now fuse taps do come in different types and here are the four most common ones. At the very top this is an ATC or ATO fuse. Next one down is a mini fuse. This one is a micro 2. And this last one here is a low profile mini. So if you're not sure which type of fuse taps you need, go to your fuse box underneath the dash and take a look and see which type of fuse it uses. Here's a closer look at one of these fuse taps. There's a top slot and a bottom slot where you can install a fuse. Now once you have identified which circuit in the fuse box you want to use or tap into, you need to remove that fuse from the fuse box and install it into the bottom slot. Next you'll need to install a second fuse in the top slot and this will power your dash cam. The way this works, this voltage will come in on the left side right here, go through the bottom fuse, and out on the right side here. So this circuit will power the original factory device. And with this top fuse, the power will come in on the left side, go through the top fuse here, and then out onto this wire. At the end of this wire, you'll connect either the yellow or red wire on the hardware kit. And this is how you're able to tap ignition 12 volt or constant 12 volt from the fuse box. If you want to know where you can pick up these fuse taps, check out the links below. First thing you need to do is locate the fuse box in your vehicle and remove the cover. On the back of the cover, you'll find a diagram showing you which fuse is for which circuit in your vehicle. This is a good reference to use to find out which fuse has ignition 12 volt and which fuse has constant 12 volt. Now for this Nissan Pathfinder, there's a 10 amp fuse labeled electrical parts bat 2. This will give me constant 12 volt. Here's a 20 amp fuse labeled power socket ACC1 and this will give me ignition 12 volt. Now obviously every vehicle is designed differently so the fuse label you see here will be different than what you see in your vehicle. And this is why I highly recommend you get a multimeter and test the fuse and find out if it has ignition 12 volt or constant 12 volt. Also make sure you don't tap into any circuits that are critical for the operation of the vehicle. So for example, you don't want to tap into the SRS airbag fuse or the ABS fuse. Looking at the fuse panel, this is a 10 amp fuse that will provide constant 12 volt. At the very top, this is a 20 amp fuse that has ignition 12 volt. Here I have my multimeter and it's set to test DC voltage. With a negative probe, you need to connect this to chassis ground. For an easier connection, I connected this alligator clamp to the probe. On the other end, I'll clamp this to a chassis ground. Now I'll probe the 10 amp fuse. As you can see, it's reading 12.57 volt. So this is a circuit with a constant 12 volt. Now I'll probe the 20 amp fuse for ignition 12 volt. Right now it's zero volt because the ignition is off. I'll turn on the ignition. With ignition on, here you see it has 12 volt. So this circuit has ignition 12 volt that I need. Next, I'll remove that fuse. Now before you install the fuse tap into the fuse slot, you need to test which side of the fuse has a 12 volt coming in. Again, I'll use my multimeter to do this test. First, I'll probe the left side. Zero volt. Now I'll check the right side. Here you see 12 volt. So now I'll know the voltage is coming in on the right side It'll go through the fuse and then go out on the left side. Do the same test on the ignition 12 volt fuse. You need to turn on the ignition to do that test. Looking at the fuse tap, you need to install it so the voltage is coming in on this side right here. Go through the fuse and the voltage will come out on this side. Now having tested the fuse slots earlier, now I know I need to install this fuse tap in this direction with the voltage coming in on this side. Go through the fuse and go out on the other side. With the fuse that I removed from the fuse box, I'll install it into the bottom slot of the fuse tap. Now on the top slot for both fuse taps, I installed a 10 amp fuse. I'll crimp the red and the yellow wire to the two fuse taps. The red wire is for the ignition 12 volt. And the yellow wire is constant 12 volt. Next, plug the fuse tap into the fuse box. And here's what it looks like installed. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you want to pick up the parts and tools used, Check out the link below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.